Hello, and welcome back to this Visionaire tutorial series, The Scenic Route. In this tutorial, we will add a Snoop animation to our scene objects. Snoop animations give the player a visual hint as to which objects in the scene they can interact with. So with that in mind, let's get started. Now the first thing we want to do is to create the animation itself. However, because it needs to be shared with all of the scene objects amongst all of the scenes, we really want to have it in a central spot. So let's create a, an interface to store that animation in, and then we can get it from there in all the scenes. So let's first create the interface. In the interface section, Let's create a new interface. I'm going to call it Snoop. And we need to create a button. And we can call this button whatever we like, but I'm going to call it Hotspot. And let's go to the Animations tab and create an animation. Again, I'm going to call this Hotspot. Okay. Now, the animation I'm going to use contains three frames, but I'll be adding a fourth to repeat the uh, middle frame in order to allow the animation to look like it is looping. So let me load the series of frames. Choose OK. There. Now, if I go back to the first frame, it's a large circle. And then as I progress through, it goes down to a small one. But if it loops there, it would leap from the small to the large one. So what I'm going to do is add in the middle frame again in order to make it look like it's looping nicely. OK. Now, when I press that, it loops really nicely, but it's moving far too fast. So let's slow that down. Under the Settings button, we want to change the pauses to 160. The other setting within here that we need to use is the infinite checkbox here. If we choose that, it will make the animation loop indefinitely. We want that because we don't want the animation to play through just its uh, few frames and then disappear. We want it to continually loop through until the player says, no, I don't need that hint anymore. Okay, so we have our animation and it's nicely pulsing there to give a good visual indicator. Next, what we need to set up is the keystroke that will allow the player to trigger the hotspot animations or the snoop animations. If we go to the game tab, there is a tab there called key animation uh, actions. Under there, we want to add a keystroke that will allow us to trigger the animation. We're going to use the spacebar. So by default, space is the very first one in the list. So we'll make sure that's there. And we'll add an action. Under the Actions drop-down box, let's choose from the Scene section, we're looking for fade snoop animations in and out. So we'll choose that. And when they depress the spacebar, this will cause the snoop animation to fade into visibility. I'm going to change that from 500 to 200, so it's a little faster. And that should be good. However, we don't want it to stay like that. We want it to disappear when they release the spacebar. So we need to put in another keystroke for to release the spacebar. 
Now the execution type is still space, which is the depressing form of the spacebar. What we want is the release. So if we scroll down, we'll find key released and choose space. Now you'll notice that the name changed from space to space released. Okay, let's add the action again. We're looking at the same action under scene, which is snoop animation faded in and out. This time we want to choose out and again I'm going to set it to 200 milliseconds. Okay, so those two things are basically an overhead that we set up once. We never have to do this again. Once we've set up the Snoop animation interface and we set up the keystrokes, now we're good to go. We can add the Snoop animation to every scene's scene object that we want the player to know they can interact with. So let's go to our scene and add it to one of our scene objects. I'm going to add it to our OBJ sign because we know that he can interact with that by reading it. Under the Effects tab, we'll see the section saying Snoop Animation. If we press the Link button, we can find we'll have a dialog box that comes up. At first it will be looking for animations within the scenes. However, we don't have any here at the moment, I don't, but we do in our Snoop interface, which is a button. So we click on Buttons, choose Snoop, and there's our hotspot animation. We choose OK, and that ties it together. Now we want to place the hotspot animation so that it will show up on the sign. We can do that one of two ways. You know that the uh, cursor coordinates are displayed up here in the right hand corner of your scene. You can move your mouse to the spot, kind of jot down those coordinates and write them in the animation position X and Y. Or up in this little three button toolbar, the final button is place snoop animations. If you click on that, it will display the Snoop animation and you can just drag it to where you want the Snoop animation to show up. And once you've dragged it and let go, now the coordinates show up in the animation position. Click the button again and it will disappear. Now our scene is completely ready with a Snoop animation. Let's give it a try and see how it works. We'll go to File, Save and Run. And if I depress the spacebar, our Snoop animation shows up. If I let go of it, it disappears. Okay, now all you have to do is just add that Snoop animation to all your other objects that the player can interact with in all of your scenes. And any time the player presses the spacebar, it will display the hint for them. Well, that's the end of this tutorial. Hope to see you in the next.